Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how you solve this problem. A force F, which is I minus 2J plus 2K, X on an object, an object moved from the point A, which is 5I plus 3J minus 2K, to B, which is 2I minus J plus 4K. Compute the vector D, which is AB, an angle F between F and D, and a vector perpendicular to both F and D. Let's look at the solution now. Alright, so to answer the first part, we're going to find the displacement from A to B. Now, the displacement from A to B, in this case, is actually OB minus OA. OB is the position of B, OA is the position of A from A to B. So this is 2i minus j plus 4k, this position of B, minus the position of A is 5i plus 3j minus 2k, and you end up with 2 minus 5, you get minus 3i here, minus j minus 3j, you get minus 4j, and 4k plus 2k, you get 6k now. So this is the vector D, the displacement from A to B. Next part, find the angle between F and D, where I have copied down D, compute from earlier. So the angle between F and D, you can use the scalar product to help you because if you use F dot D, this is the length of F, the length of D, cosine of theta, where the theta is between F and D. So let's find out using this method. So f dot d is equal to how much? Is there's a one here and minus three you get minus three, and a minus two and a minus four all together get plus eight, and a two and a six here you get twelve. This is f dot d, and the length of f is equal to one square plus minus 2 square, plus 2 square, this is length of F. Length of D is minus 3 square, plus minus 4 square, plus 6 square, and then time multiply cosine theta. We continue with this process. So we will find that the left hand side is 20 minus 3 equals 15, and you have square root of 9, which is 3, and square root of 9 plus 16, 25, 25 plus 36, all right, 25 plus 36, you get 151, 61 here, and cosine of theta, that means that cosine of theta is equal to 15 over square root 9, square root of 61. So you can find out what is theta now by pressing a calculator, 15 over 3 times square root 61, and you get cosine inverse of 5 over square root 61, and we will find out what is the anchor theta. So let me call up my calculator, it's a cosine inverse, 5 over square root 61, so I press shift cosine inverse 5 over square root of 61 uh, this will give me 50.19 degree all right there is an angle between f and d last part find a vector perpendicular to both f and d one possibility you can do is take the cross product of f and d. f and d, this vector will be automatically perpendicular to both f and d. So f cross d is i, j, k, and 1 minus 2, 2 for f, and minus 3, minus 4, 6 for d. So when you expand out, this will give you i 
times minus 2, 2, minus 4, 6, minus 3, 1, minus 3, 2, 6, m plus k, 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So evaluate a 2 by 2 determinant, I get i minus 12 plus 8 minus j 6 plus 6 plus k minus 4 minus 6. So you get minus 4i minus 12j and minus 10k. This vector will be perpendicular to both f and d. So that is the end of the recording.